so I'm going to try to address uh, these uh, three questions in a few moments. What's the context for unemployment uh, insurance? Uh, how does it fit into this uh, post-war project, this incomplete project called the welfare state? It's an essential part, but not the only part. Uh, what is the role of unemployment insurance in reducing uh, inequality and poverty? And thirdly, I want to talk a bit about the idea of a basic income, what used to be called the guaranteed annual income. And if we had such a thing, if that dream could be achieved, uh, would we need or want uh, unemployment insurance? So uh, let's start uh, with, with Lord Beveridge in the UK, the consolidator of the British welfare state, uh, the state from which we, uh, through Leonard Marsh, developed the inspiration for our welfare state. Well, he had a big plan. He was trying to defeat want, which we might call poverty, disease, ignorance, squalor, and idleness. And he, uh, we should remember the ambitious nature of this welfare state, which never quite achieved uh, its promise. Uh, most of his focus was on want, uh, which he called a lack of income to maintain the means of healthy subsistence, uh, food, shelter, clothing, fuel. And he found that at the time he studied this problem, three quarters to five six of uh, want resulted from work interruption or job loss of some kind. So it was clear to him that unemployment insurance had to be a basic pillar of the welfare state. Uh, to Leonard Marsh, who adopted and translated uh, this plan into Canada, and here is what Leonard Marsh recommended, and again we can compare it with uh, what we've achieved, uh, well, he wanted a macroeconomic intervention to achieve full employment. Um, he wanted a federal uninsur un unemployment insurance program to protect against employment risks. He wanted uh, social insurance to protect uh, workers and only workers from what he called universal risks, old age, disability, death. Uh, essentially uh, what the Canada Pension Plan does now, or, or does to some extent. Uh, and he wanted a comprehensive system of health insurance, and notice it covers more than the system uh, we've achieved. Uh, and he wanted universal uh, family allowances. Uh, so just an idea of the context. Uh, so in Marsh's view, Unemployment insurance is a key strategy uh, in the plan to directly eliminate poverty. And that is a quote from him. He actually talked about the elimination rather than the reduction of poverty. And he understood and put forward the idea that uh, unemployment uh, has nothing to do with the characteristics of the individual. It has to do with the business cycle. It has to do with the way the economy works. Uh, so uh, just looking for a moment at the issue of poverty, here is a chart uh, going from 2000 to 2012 uh, uh, of uh, poverty uh, among children in Canada. Uh, the measure is the low income measure after tax. It's from the Campaign 2000 report. And if you look at this, you might feel good looks like poverty is getting reduced, although the range is quite uh, limited. We're going from 22% to 19% or so at best. But if you look at this, you don't feel so good. Uh, you can see that we haven't achieved the 15.8% that existed in 1989, and that shows you how much we lost uh, in the 90s and the first decade of, of this uh, century. And uh, part of this loss, of course, has to do with the fact that our system of transfers have become less effective. Well, what's the role of unemployment insurance? First of all, it's a major strategy to prevent poverty. Uh, it decreases uh, the need to divest assets and savings. Unfortunately, it doesn't eliminate it. And David talked to us about the evils of relief, and unfortunately, most of those evils have been transferred into modern social assistance. So 
So the fact that unemployment insurance helps people not fall onto social assistance is very important because it requires a great deal of asset divestment. It's stigmatizing, uh, it's, uh, it erodes people's self-worth, uh, and there are substantial barriers to employment in the, in the uh, social assistance system. The very measures that are meant to encourage people to get off welfare make it difficult for them uh, to do that. Uh, and of course, uh, unemployment insurance, I should say employment insurance, keeps people alive while they're seeking training to, uh, to ramp up their skills. Uh, just to talk about inequality for a moment, uh, there was uh, an increase uh, in, uh, uh, I should say, market inequality in the uh, 1980s, but it was almost completely compensated by our transfer system. Uh, it continued to increase in the 1990s, but because of the erosion of our transfer system, that compensation did not occur, and uh, total income inequality increased. Uh, redistribution by unemployment insurance went down from 1991 to 1999, as you can see. Those are Gini coefficient uh, percentages, or percentages of Gini coefficients. Two-thirds was due to program reductions. That's uh, from a report by Heinz and Moffat uh, done for the Institute of uh, Research on Public Policy that's just recently uh, been released. and. Uh, since then, redistribution has remained quite constant. So here is a chart uh, from their report. The one on the left, the lower line, uh, shows the redistributive impact of uh, employment insurance, and you can see it follows the pattern they talked about. The top line is the total impact, and the bottom line is the uh, difference in impact due to uh, changes in the employment insurance system that mostly had the effect of lowering at average monthly uh, benefits. The chart on, in the chart on the right, uh, they show the progressivity of the benefit, and you can see it looks pretty flat. Last question I'm going to ask, is there room for unemployment insurance in what you might call a non-laborist basic income? So the basic income idea specifically um, engages in the sin in a capitalist society of disconnecting income from work. So uh, the basic income Earth Network defines basic income this way. It's paid to individuals rather than households. Uh, this is seen as empowering. It's paid irrespective of any income from any other sources. And it's paid without requiring the performance of any work or the willingness to accept a job if offered. Uh, that's, that is the principle of a basic income. Uh, there are uh, those on the right who support a basic income. They see it as a way to replace almost all of the welfare state. There are those on the left who support a basic income and see it as a way to enhance the welfare state. I think there would be room for employment insurance uh, to uh, enhance the wages of the unemployed, even if they were receiving uh, a basic income. Thank you.